Viewers, welcome again to Smart Agro Innovations Farmers Lecture Room. Today we are going to talk about the best soil mixture for our plantain stroke banana plantations. Day in and day out, when people contact me, they try to know what type of soil is good for our plantation. Um, Smart Agro, what should we do? You may have a soil or a land which is not loamy soil. Maybe you have no other choice to secure any other land. You can still create your own soil for the growth of the banana or the plantain. And it demands a little time. All you need to do is that we have three main types of soil. These are clay, sandy, and loam soil, or in some cases we say self. All that you need to do is that you need to combine these three. That is the clay, the sandy, and the self. The combination of these three soil types will give you a loam soil that will support the growth of banana and plantains so all you need to do is that when we formulation anytime i try to do my teachings sometimes please kindly follow it attentively so that we try to reduce everything to the layman's level of understanding because sometimes people call they want to quote in kg here and there you can still quote in kg but i want to give you a simple scenario that you can use i say if you want to do your mixture so this is it the best soil formulation for plantain to banana plantation this is all you should do. If you want to do your formulation, one, you have sandy, you have clay, and you have salt. The combination of all these three types will give us loam. So all that you need to do is that you have to take 40% of sand, 20% of clay. We know that clay has high water retention capacity and banana and then plantain do not like marshy areas. So that is how come the percentage is low. Though we should be able to retain certain amount, but at least it should be water locked. So when do your formulations, then the salt should be 40 percent so loom will be equals to 40 percent sand is to 20 percent clay is to 40 percent salt and it will be equal to 100%. So that is how your formulation should be. After the whole pot, then you shall take it to the field for practical things so that you see yourself. So let's say if you have one bucket, you take one bucket of sand, one full bucket of sand, one full bucket of salt, you add them. Then you take a half of that bucket. That is the 20%. You mix them up. And at the end of the day, if you do the check, you see that you've gotten your loam soil. And after getting this, then you add another percentage of organic matter. If I say organic matter, they are the biodegradable materials that you can think of. I don't want to restrict you to sawdust or wood ash. In your environment, you have other biodegradable materials. 
you add them to the mister and you've created a condition a soil for the growth of your banana and plantains you take your whole when planting to let's say a knee level then you put your soil in there you've created a condition for your plantain and banana so as smart as you, everything is possible you can create your own soil condition your own substrate for the growth of your plantain or banana for you to understand things fully let us go to the field and observe how you can create best soil you can formulate best soil for your plantain and banana let's go the cells the cells you are going to see it you get the fine cells for the paprika ourselves is enough also a typical clay soil it's a clay soil we got it underneath from the well so it's a pure clay soil it is enough We have our clay soil, the silt, 
And now let's go for the sand. We have our salt, we have our clay. So, we are going to do the mixture and then get the best soil, just the loamy soil for the growth of our plantains. Yeah, so this is already there for us. And it's fine enough. That's why we need we need to break them. We are using this small quantity because of uh, for, for for practical purposes. I told you if you want to do such a mixture, it is forty percent sand, forty percent salt, and then twenty percent clay. Then you get your full loam soil for your um, for the growth of your plantains. Yeah, already we have full of this. So contains some organic matter. This is our sand. So this is our sand. And break the clay. This is also our clay soil. So now we have our sandy soil. 
we have our salt, we have our clay soil. But we said we need only 20% of this. I told you 40%, 40%, 20% of this. So. We use only half of this because we need only 20%. So only half of this container will be used. Doing the formulation of the mixture, um, the clay content should be low. If not, the whole place will be waterlogged. But at least we should also be able to retain certain amount of water. That is the main idea of using the clay and then the sandy soil you know that it is well drained so combining these three it will give us an intermediate medium so we are good to go we try to make things so simple for for of which any farmer at all can do it so we have a uh, 40 percent that is half of it we made four of this so this is uh clay. Now we have a uh, 40% um, sand, we have 40% salt, and we have 20% clay. It's just a matter of mixing them together to get the very good soil that we want for our plantains. You've had uh, this becomes a sandy loom, yeah. Mixture of the silt and then the sandy. You can see that. This is a uniform mixture. You cannot use this soil alone for the plantain because, you know, it becomes well drained. Here, water cannot stay within. If you do watering, you can see that there is a true sign that water cannot stay in this. Therefore, we need to add the 20% um, 20% loom to the mister and I told you the main importance of the clay is that it is able to retain high amount of water moderate so now we are going to get a moderate water retention capacity of our mixture it is not too much clay it is not too much sand it is not too much salt after the whole thing we shall put them in the bottle shake it well swell it so you see how they will settle in layers
So now we have our uniform mixture. We have our loamy soil. As it is, we've gotten our loamy soil. After that, we need to get some organic matter content, some biodegradable materials attached. So we cast our eyes around, we can see that we have some decomposed sawdust. We fetch some and add it. This is a decomposed sawdust. Also, and then we add it with the compost sawdust. That is the organic matter. We add it to our soil. So at the end of the day, you see that this all this mixture that is a combination of sandy, salt, uh, clay, and then organic matter. They will all settle in layers. So now we have our full mixture. That is the sandy, the salt, and then the clay. So now we have our loamy soil. We want to put it inside here. Add water, shake it, leave it to settle, and you will see that it will be in layers. So this is the best soil for our plantains and bananas so if you are doing farming in a place where you don't have a very good loam soil you can do this mixture for it that is 40 percent of uh sandy soil 40 percent salt and then 20 percent clay then at the end of the day you try as much as possible to add Organic matter, any biodegradable material, cow dung, potty dropping, sawdust, to get a very good water. So, I think it's enough. We want it to settle in layers. That is why we are putting it in here. So, at the end of the day, we have our mixture. This is the best soil you can use for your plantain farms. Let's add water. We want you to see that all this mixture will settle in layers.
ketopat the whole mixture in this bottle we are going to leave it to stand for 24 hours and we look at how these soil types will settle in layers you see that they have started settling but for clarity we want you to stand for 24 hours and after that we look out for the results and conclusion that if you want to do plantain farm at where uh, we don't have any loam soil all you need to do is to do this mixture and create this artificial substrate for the whole contents we label it We have it. We are leaving it to stand for 24 hours before you see that they have started settling in layers. We come back and label it nicely for you so that indeed you believe that this is a loam soil. So we we'll leave it here for a 24 hour this long. Then we give you the result.